In a new terror alert, the Homeland Security Department warns about the persistent threat from anti-government extremists. It says the deadly assault on the Capitol left those groups, quote, emboldened and capable of new violence. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge is tracking the potential threat. Catherine, good morning. Michelle, good morning. While CBS News has learned Homeland Security does not have specific credible intelligence about plotting, the bulletin warns more violence is possible against elected officials and government buildings. A rare bulletin from Homeland Security. The warning is stark, describing a heightened threat environment from domestic violent extremist groups that may be emboldened by the successful breach of the U.S. Capitol. What is it about the breach January 6th that has emboldened these groups. Those who are supporters of those insurrectionists saw the, saw the photos, saw the videos that was all over social media of them. The fact that they achieved that is an inspiration to those of their followers who weren't there. The warning says groups are motivated by the 2020 election results, perceived grievances fueled by misinformation, as well as anger over COVID-19 restrictions. In California Tuesday, Ian Benjamin Rogers was charged with possession of five pipe bombs. Investigators found 49 firearms and allege he discussed attacking Democrats and recovered this card, which reads white privilege and trumps everything. The alert comes as the federal riot investigation hits a new milestone with more than 400 open case files. Dennis Sidorsky, who wore an American supremacist hoodie, is charged with violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. And expanded charges were filed against Thomas Caldwell, Donovan Crowell, and Jessica Watkins, three alleged members of a paramilitary group, the Oath Keepers, for trying to plan an operation to interfere with the Electoral College certification. The indictment says their coordination began as early as November. If you had asked me when this my journey started, if we would ever have this sort of a bulletin, a threat, from domestic, from our own people inside our own country, I wouldn't have believed it. And CBS News has learned a bipartisan group of 32 House lawmakers is asking congressional leadership to use their office allowances for more personal security in their home district where they don't have Capitol Police protection, citing the increased threat. Anthony. Catherine, thank you.